Today I'm going to be talking about the leading cerebral palsy symptoms and some ideas on preventing this whole element in the first place. Now before I get started, down below you'll notice there's a link where I'm giving away a free video based guide all about shopping for and using dietary supplements and herbal remedies. Now cerebral palsy is a very sad condition that usually affects children before they hit the age of five. What happens is a child's brain doesn't really develop correctly and they start to experience some negative symptoms. Now usually these negative symptoms really have to do with movement, uh, it has to do with balance, coordination, and some examples of this would be possibly a child uh, having difficulty or abnormal with, with walking. It could be challenges with picking up an object that would be simple to anybody else, they would have challenges with that. Perhaps always using one side of the body frequently, that could be another sign of it. Uh, other symptoms could be some abnormal tremors, almost like a seizure, possibly some challenges with eating food, um, as well as uh, muscles that are usually like very stiff or very relaxed. Uh, other signs that could be an indicator of cerebral palsy might be problems with vision, hearing, uh, a child not being able to hold their, their bowels or urine like they, they may be, you know, have discipline in that area but now that they can't something unusual in that area, as well as some other mental health problems. Uh, the reality is that if you feel for a second that your child may have this disease, then you probably should see some professional medical help. But if nothing else, it'll give you some peace of mind. Now, unfortunately, the exact cause of this ailment is not known. Um, however, it usually has to do with some type of problems with pregnancy. You might be wondering, well, how in the heck does someone really reduce their chance of you know, giving birth to this, a child with this ailment. If you're not asking that question, you probably should. Well, one way a woman can really reduce her chance of having a baby with, baby with cerebral palsy would be not abusing alcohol or other drugs. That's a that's a definitely a good start right there. Also, not to smoke cigarettes would be great. Now, I'm sure you know that cigarettes are unhealthy, but the, the reality is that they, they highly increase the chance of so many health problems out there. Um, another idea? Um, would be by taking a multivitamin. Believe it or not, uh, if someone is deficient in just one vitamin, it could really increase the chance of some health problems. To give you just one idea on this, if a woman is deficient in, say, just folic acid, which is a B vitamin, uh, then it increases the chance of her giving birth to a child with a neural tube defect by around 70%, 70%. That's a lot. Now this neural tube defect is when the, the skull or the brain or the spinal cord is damaged and almost always results in death of the baby. It's very sad. And also before a woman even knows she's pregnant, uh, she really needs to have adequate amount of this vitamin. I'm sure you might be thinking, yeah, you can get vitamins through food. And that's true, but the reality is that a lot of our food doesn't have the vitamins and minerals like it used to. There's a bunch of reasons for this, but a big one has to do with farmers. They use chemicals to grow their crops bigger and faster, but it really depletes the nutrients in, in a lot of our livestock and crops and everything. This is why I really recommend a multivitamin. And as I mentioned earlier, I do have this whole video guide um, that can make shopping for a lot of these very supplement products uh, easier and simpler. It also goes over tips on what you should look for. It also provides some ideas on alternative medicines like detoxes and, and herbal remedies too. Um, the cool thing about it is it's completely free, so why not uh, take a glance at it? You can learn a lot of great things. It's very, it'll be, it can be very beneficial to you. Also, I really appreciate your time. I hope this video might have helped a couple people. Um, as always, I always appreciate your thoughts and comments. Uh, please leave them below. And uh, thanks a lot. And until next time, cheers. Uh, take care of yourself. Okay, bye.